गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट यूनिट दैट इज़ कंप्यूटर मेमोरी एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट कंप्यूटर मेमोरी हाउ इट स्टोर्स द डेटा एंड हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ मेमोरी इज देर सो दीज आर सम रिलेवेंट इमेज रिलेटेड टू पिक्चर्स रिलेटेड टू मेमोरी कंप्यूटर मेमोरी एंड दिस इज़ वन काइंड ऑफ मेन मेमोरी ऑफ कंप्यूटर इट लुक्स लाइक दिस and uh, if i talk about the next type of memory that is secondary memory then a uh, hard disk comes under secondary memory and this is one image related to it then uh, there is one uh, image of pen drive also this comes under the category of secondary memory uh, now uh, let us discuss the uh, next topic that is computer memory Uh, so what do you mean by computer memory as uh, it is just like a human brain just like human brain records uh, each and everything or whatever the people are saying what uh, you want to do uh, and what are the different tasks which you want to perform so each and everything is uh, maintained or stored in human brain so just like that um, there is one uh, uh, memory in terms of computer also that is known as computer memory but in case of uh, computer memory we are having the types of it so this computer memory is used to store the data and number of instructions like what uh, is to be and uh, what is the, the next step which is to be performed by the computer so each and everything is stored uh, in computer memory so computer memory is the storage space in computer where data is to be processed and um, you know very well that first of all uh, we take uh, computer takes the data from the user after that it is processed by the cpu then only the information is generated that means uh, in uh, computer memory uh, there is one storage space uh, where data is to be processed and instructions required for processing uh, for processing data which is to be stored so memory is basically divided into large number of smaller parts called cells means uh, basically if you are having uh, like uh, uh, 64 uh kilobyte data then uh, to store this data you should have some memory cells uh, i'll tell you how so first of all you just take this like each location or cell has a unique address okay if you are saying that computer memory is divided into large number of smaller parts then what do you mean by this smaller parts these smaller parts are known as cells okay we just remember this that uh, my computer memory is divided into number of smaller parts and these are called cells and each cell has a unique address each and every cell is having its own address which varies from 0 to memory size minus 1 means for example if you are having uh, like 256 256 memory size you require that means the addressing will be performed from 0 onwards okay that means 256 first of all the first uh, uh, address will be zero then after that uh, all the uh, next addresses will come that means if you want uh, like 256 cells then it will start from the addressing will be start from zero and it will goes up to 255 because you are saying that um, it will varies from zero to memory size minus 1 so how much memory you want 256 so 256 minus 1 that means it will uh, goes from 0 up to 255 just like uh, you check this example like if a computer has 64 kilo by, uh, words uh, 64 kilobyte words or uh, then uh, this memory unit will take 64 into 1024 memory size or memory location that means this much memory location the computer will take and uh, the address of these location will vary from 0 up to this minus 1 that means up to 65535 okay i hope this is clear and then after that how many types of memories are there so memory is uh, primarily of three types the first one is cache memory the second one is primary memory without which computer cannot work anything then the third type of memory that is secondary memory 
uh, which is additionally attached to the computer for uh, saving some more records into it so one by one we will discuss it like uh, first of first of all the cache memory so cache memory uh, as it is a very high speed semiconductor memory means if we talk about uh, these three memory that is cache primary and secondary then cache memory is one of the fastest memory in comparison to all okay so this is one of the advantages also and uh, it can be speed up uh, the cpu and uh, it acts as a buffer between the cpu and the main memory means it works between the cpu and the main memory for example okay i'll tell you the example uh, first of all you just complete uh, this definition like it is used to hold those parts of data and program which are most frequently used by cpu this is one of the important function performed by cache memory by uh, what you are saying that uh, this type of memory holds those parts of data or the program which are most frequently used so what are the steps which you most frequently used in terms of memory so now i'll tell you one example that is copy and paste so uh, for example if you want to uh, like again and again paste uh, want to paste uh, the same information then what you will do obviously you can copy that data for example and you require the term that is memory in each and every page you want to attach it or you can see like there is one uh, word which you want in each and every page like your name you, uh, okay so what you can do so the same thing or the repetitive task or the repetitive words which you want to paste um, um, uh, in different number of uh, places then for that purpose you just copy the, that data so this copy and paste operation is basically performed by the cache memory okay so the parts of data and programs are transferred from disk to cache memory by operating system from where cpu can access them okay so what are, what will be the advantages of these cache memory first of all the speed of the, the cache memory is very fast then uh, the repetitive task which you want to perform again and again for that purpose uh, you can use this cache memory okay and uh, but there is some disadvantages also like it is having limited space limited capacity it is having uh, so you cannot store, store uh, large amount of files into it and uh, this type of memory is expensive is very expensive so like this is one example like copy and paste option is performed by cache memory if i talk about the advantages of cache memory then as i've told you the first uh, advantage that uh, cache memory is faster than main memory or even though from the secondary memory also then it consumes less access time as compared to main memory this is one of the advantage of this cache memory that it takes uh, very less time then uh, it stores the program that can be executed within a short period of time then it stores the data for temporary use so here come the disadvantages that is cache memory has limited space or limited capacity and it is very expensive in nature so these all are the advantages and disadvantages of cache memory now the next type of memory that is primary memory primary memory means main memory so primary memory holds only those data and instructions on which computer is currently working so the, basically this primary memory works on current data so it has limited capacity as well but in comparison to cache memory it is having some uh, large capacity in comparison to cache only and uh, in case of primary memory data is lost when power is switched off so this is one of the disadvantage of this memory like if you have not saved any kind of file on which you are working then it can be lost if the power is switched off 
so um, it is generally made up of semiconductor devices and uh, these memories are not as fast as registers registers uh, uh, this is one other concept which i'll tell you in the next session and uh, the data and instruction required to be processed uh, are reside in main memory so it is divided into two subcategories that is ram and rom so these two are uh, one of the primary these two are the primary memories or the example of primary memories in detail i'll tell you that how many types of ram are there and uh, what is the functioning of this ram then uh, how many types of rom uh, memories are available in the terms of computer memory i'll tell you in the next session now the characteristics of main memory that uh, the characteristics of main memories are like uh, these are the semiconductor memories and uh, it is known as main memory it is volatile in nature volatile means that uh, nothing is permanent volatile means temporary memory if the power is uh, off so uh, if the power is gone then uh, obviously the data will be removed then data is lost in case of power is switched off this is one of the disadvantage also it is working uh, uh, memory of the computer means without which you cannot work on to the computer primary memory is one of the most important uh, term in terms of computer because without the primary memory we cannot perform anything but it is faster than secondary memory just like in comparison to hard disk or pen drive it is uh, much more faster and uh, as i've told you that computer cannot run without primary memory so this is one kind of uh, ram and uh, you can see the main memory this is one image related to it then after that the next type of memory that is secondary memory this type of memory is additionally attached so that is why it is known as external memory or non volatile memory non volatile means permanent memory means the if the power is um, gone then obviously the data is saved permanently saved into the computer until and unless you just give the command you just give the delete command to that so uh, this type of memory is slower than main memory and uh, these are used for storing the data and information permanently that means these are non volatile in nature and uh, in case of secondary memory cpu directly does not access these memories uh, instead they are accessed via input and output routines for example if uh, the user has given one input that he want to like uh, upload this file then only cpu will access that file okay and the contents of secondary memories are first transferred to the main memory and then cpu can access it so for uh, the example of the secondary memory can be like hard disk it, it is hard disk not only the disk then cd rom is one kind of secondary memory example because you save the data in terms of cd dvd also uh but obviously in case of cd and dvd the space is less so that is why hard disk is used in most of the uh, places as a secondary memory hard disk is used then even though pen, pen drive or the flash drive is one of the example of secondary memory hope you have understood that uh, what do you mean by the secondary memory now there are some characteristics also like uh, these uh, secondary memory uh, are magnetic and uh, optical memories and uh, it is known as backup memory also means if you want to take backup then you can take it with the help of this secondary memory because in case of primary memory we are having limited space so that is why we cannot uh, perform uh, the backup operation in terms of primary memory so that is why uh, secondary memory is known as backup memory then uh, this is one of the important feature or characteristics of secondary memory that is it is non volatile in nature and then uh, the next uh, important thing that data is permanently stored even if the power is switched off and uh, secondary memory is used for storage of data into a computer 
and computer may run without secondary memory as uh, we were saying in terms of primary memory that primary memory uh, is very important to run the computer but uh, if i uh, the uh, same thing will be uh, with, uh, if i want to say uh, in the terms of secondary memory then it is not possible because computer uh, may run without this secondary memory because it is one kind of external memory means additional memory uh, so if uh, i talk about the speed of this secondary memory then obviously it is slower than primary memory so that is it thank you everyone hope you have understood the concept of uh, all types of memories then uh, in the next session we will discuss the um, detailed version of these memories like what uh, what come under the main memory then in terms of secondary memory how many uh, number of uh, devices we are having how many number of memories we are having so in detail we will discuss in the next session till then you just understand these terms or these types of computer memory so thank you everyone thank you so much